This is Module 1, End of Module Review, Page 1. Our objective over the second part of our unit was to learn about properties of multiplication and division and solving problems with units of 2 through 5 and 10. Number 1. Mrs. Jones arranges all the papers she has to grade into five equal piles of three. How many papers does Mrs. Jones have to grade? Show a picture and multiplication sentence in your work. Mrs. Jones has five piles of three. To help me, I'm going to draw a number bond. In her first pile, she has three papers. In her second pile, she has three papers. In her third pile, she has three papers. In her fourth pile, she has three papers. In her fifth pile, she has three papers. When I look at this, I see that I have five groups. In each of those groups, I have three. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, giving me a total of 15. I drew my picture and my multiplication sentence. Letter A. What does the product in your multiplication sentence represent? The 15 represents a certain number. The product... represents. I want you to think about does this number represent the groups, the size, or the total, and write that word yourself at the end of the sentence. Letter B. Fill in the blanks below to complete a related division sentence. When I'm dividing I always start with my largest number. So when 5 times 3 equals 15, 15 is my largest number. I have 15 divided by 3, that's my size, which equals 5, my groups. Letter C. What does the quotient in part B represent? So we need to think about what does the 5 represent. The quotient represents the, you fill in the rest with groups, size, or total. If you're unsure, look at the number bond in the first part to see what five is meaning. 